a word from the Almighty. Today we read from the book of Zechariah chapter 1 verse 2 to 6. Listen very carefully and heed the word. And it says, Yahweh was very angry with your ancestors. Tell the people this is what Yahweh Sebaoth says, return to me, declares Yahweh Sebaoth, and I will return to you, says Yahweh Sebaoth. Don't be like your ancestors who had the earlier prophets preach to them. This is what Yahweh Sebaoth says, turn from your evil ways and your evil deeds. But they didn't listen or pay attention to me, declares Yahweh. Your ancestors, where are they now? And the prophets, are they still alive? Didn't my warnings and my laws, which have commanded my servants, the prophets, to preach, finally catch up with your ancestors? Then your ancestors turned away from their sins and said, Yahweh Sebaoth has done to us what he hath planned to do. He has dealt with us as our ways and deeds deserve. Hallelujah. The word is self-explanatory. You see... The men and women of God speak and they tell us to turn from our wicked ways, to repent, to change our minds, to turn to the Almighty. When, you know, you remove uh, fish from water, which is its natural environment, it dies. When you remove animals from the, the, the greenery where they eat and breathe, they die. When you remove human beings from the presence of God, they do not thrive. And people have decided to live their lives outside the Almighty. And that's why there's chaos in the world. And people don't thrive spiritually, which is what really matters. And eventually, if we do not turn back to God, we will die. Means, meaning eternal separation from the Almighty. And the chaos that... We mostly go through in this life as a result of not abiding in the Almighty. And this word also reminds us that God keeps his promises. It says it very, very clearly. But they didn't listen or pay attention to me, declares Yahweh. Your ancestors, where are they now? Didn't my warnings and my laws which have commanded my servants, the prophets, to preach, finally catch up with your ancestors? Look at the people who've been doing evil for years. Don't they get punished in the end? Where are they? Some die. Miserable deaths. Oh, they are no longer in this life. So don't envy the evil. So God keeps his promise. Like he used Moses to tell the children of Israel and indeed the people that are alive today. There's life and death. Choose life. And he went ahead and told them the consequences. You know, we are free to choose anything we want, but we are not free from the consequences. May the Lord help each of us make the right choices. Amen.